darker than that. Yours is at your feet. At your feet. Good job. Good job, buddy. Good job. Oh, you almost got it. There What's you the go. design on that thing? <laughs> Let me see that. What's the design on it? Let me see. Stars. It's constellations. Stars. That's cool. Hey. So. Hey. <laughs> Where you going? Was. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually pretty sure that's what it was. <laughs> I need that back. You can have fucking kaleidoscope Ooh. black and something. What? I don't want this. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Why do you just get to take my cool lighter? It's not your cool lighter. It's my cool lighter. Possession says nine tenths of the wall, Mason. Okay. I'm going to beat you in the three out of five on Dragon Ball Fighters for the back. Wow. For lighter back. Okay, let me think about this. Somebody who's had... The system with him for weeks and to practice <laughs> the game wants to play me. Someone who hasn't played the game in weeks for something. What are we talking about? Uh, we're basically. He stole my lighter. I didn't steal shit. He stole my constellation Somebody, lighter. Okay, does it is it technically stealing though when somebody takes something from you but then gives you something of equal value back to you? But yes. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> that's stealing. <laughs> that's, <laughs> I, don't, that's I, I did steal. not I like, like it. <laughs> I did not like the trade. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen that episode of Pokemon? Where Ash trades his Butterfree for Eradicate. Dude, and what he's like, I fucking dumbass. hate this Eradicate. Really? <laughs> and then oh, trades it back. Like Butterfree, though. Like, I feel like Eradicate would one hit a Butterfree. Yeah. No, it could only do half health. Huh? Because of Hyper Fang. Super Fang. Super Fang. What does Hyper Fang do? Hyper Fang does, like, guaranteed, like, damage. A lot. Yeah. A lot. I get my oh, shit oh. rocked by Hyper Fang all the time. Just randomly. By, by, by you know what really pissed radicate. me off was the Alolan Radicates. Yeah. Those assholes. Mm -hmm. They were dicks. Yeah, because they had dark. Yeah, and they fucking used dark moves. Oh, yeah. You know what was even doper? Is when... Doper? <laughs> doper. You know what was even doper? Are doper. Are you a doper? Mason, have you been doping? <laughs> no. Good. Dope. Uh, but I don't... Uh, he's the uh, cop in sun and moon who uh, the old guy who has like the whole dark team and has the mega sable eye oh uh, um he's, so he's cool. the kahuna or whatever of the uh is that what it is kahuna yeah, yeah he's the kahuna of that one island yeah kahuna. where all the team skull he has the is. alolan fucking persian mm -hmm. dude that thing with its fat fucking face <laughs> is holding a fucking um, um heavy breathing stone. Yeah, it's holding a dark Z, Z stone. I think one of his Pokemon also has like a. You can't hit it with super effective moves or something. I can't remember. No, that's the uh, the Togeta Demaru or whatever. However, you say that in the Totem one, mm -hmm. where it has lightning rod with it, so you can't hit it with electric attacks, and it has a Skarmory that it summons. So you're like, oh, I'm just gonna take that Skarmory out with a nice Thunderbolt. That's totally fine, and then get fucking. Taken by the Togedomaru. Do you remember that? Uh, yeah. That vaguely. happened to me like three times. Yeah. Vaguely. There were some parts of that game I kind of just Douche tuned out. Bag. Tuned out? Mm. What do you mean? You I, just... I don't think I beat Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon yet. Oh, you gotta beat it. I think the ult's left for me. Is it's so core. cool, man. Hey. You, you get to go to the Ultra Wormhole at we the kinda, end. We kind of stopped playing, so I was like, yeah, well. Yeah. And yeah. Platinum, too. Well, I mean, to be fair, I, I conceded platinum. I mean, I still have my VGC team in Ultra Moon. Normal, You're not so. going to ever beat your team. You literally have all Ubers. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry that we decided to give you that because you you played the, I suck at Pokemon, guys. I wouldn't even know what to do with this team. I literally, <laughs> and I literally, then you I, fucking I, beat us. Just because I looked up their best move lists and stats. Yeah. That's all it takes. Well, I'd never done that before. And I figured that was the one time it counted, so I was just going to do it. <sighs> You've disappointed me for the last time. Yeah, after I did that, I'm just like, how did I ever play Pokemon? I See, I, I just gave Earthquake moves. everything. I stopped playing Platinum when uh, I got a Sneasel, had the perfect nature, had the perfect ability, and knew... Uh, Ice Fang, so it was, I was perfect. It was perfect, and then uh, you forgot to save. Nope i uh, I bumped into Clyde at your house, and I dropped my DS, and it froze, and I literally sat there and breeded for that Sneasel 
forever. I do remember that. I bet that made you just give up. I that's when I was like, I'm not playing platinum anymore. <laughs> I'm not. Especially because I hate Empoleon, dude. At the end of the day, Austin, <laughs> my uh, my explanation of why I'm not going to play Mason in a three out of five to give him his lighter back is because you give a chimpanzee a typewriter, and eventually it writes Shakespeare. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Mason, or the chimpanzee in this comparison, <laughs> <laughs> the typewriter, <laughs> the PS4, uh. Shakespeare, his touch of death combos that he knows now to do. Yeah, but he literally spent like all day every day on YouTube looking up how to do yeah. it. Yeah. Well, that's all day every day on YouTube that I have not been there. Right. I honestly probably would not kill a single character if him and I played a three out of five right no, now. No, you, yeah, you probably would. You'd still have your mix-ups and stuff. Doesn't matter if I don't get to play the game. I mean, technically, that's he's only, he's, <laughs> technically he's only doing good. his combos on stuff that's not fighting back. Doesn't I become something that doesn't fight back as soon as I'm getting hit, like the things he's fighting. Yeah, but he <laughs> drops them constantly, though. Does he? He wouldn't have to go for Dude, a perfect. I don't, I don't drop that combo anymore. Like if I have four bars and I get that combo, give me the dead. give me the PS4 for a week and a half, and then I'll come back and fight you. Yeah, and then you can have this lighter. No, if you win. No, just give me my lighter back. No, you thief. Welcome <laughs> to the Bootleg Shanty Podcast. You can find us wherever podcasts are sold, thief. except ours are free. So that's, that's a good price. Yeah, it's a damn good price. <laughs> Best price there is, yeah. minus us giving you money to listen. <laughs> right, but you can find us at YouTube. SoundCloud, which is where you're probably listening. Um, Google Play Music Store, Last FM, Podcast Addicts, and that's it. I iTunes. iTunes. I don't know if you said that. What's or not. iTunes? iTunes mm, no, podcast. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So you can find us all there. Sick. Or wherever else you want to find us. You could look in a dumpster. We'll probably be there. Uh, in a dungeon. <laughs> in a dungeon. Yeah. And I don't know what we're going to talk about today, because as we were deciding what we were going to talk about today, Austin's like, I'm just going to hit play over here. And Well, I said, I'm going to wait until... Never mind. Yep. Never mind. Yep. Well, uh, My Austin, fucking bad. Uh, so you just started... Uh, you're, you're, you can become a coder, bub. Yeah, you see my shirt? I see it. See it's a it's nice like. shirt. Yeah, it's okay. I'm a coach. I did not see your shirt <laughs> until now. I, I told I told um I told my like administrator at school. I was like, you just turn me into a walking billboard, man. It has it has 1150.org on it like three or four times. If you think about it, every shirt you wear makes you a walking billboard. Technically, yeah, like, unless it's plain. I'm wearing this really shitty band T-shirt mm-hmm. that you should go and check out. They're called Out of the Blues. They're thank you. They're not that great, but you might like them. <laughs> And uh, you might like us. <laughs> I'm wearing that shirt, and that makes me an advertisement for that band. Or when I wear one of my other shirts, except that dog shirt. That one dog shirt I have, that doesn't advertise anything, except I dogs. fucking love dogs. Yeah, uh, Colin, I appreciate the shout out to Out of the Blues. Um, they were a Do you know sh- them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like best friends with them. Yeah. Uh, you look kind of like the guy that's in the music video. What? Yeah. Like, like, there's like this guy that, that like acts like he can play a keyboard but can't. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, but it's okay. You're not him though. So. Definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely yeah. not him. Because no. I actually can play the keyboard. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> he, dude, he sucks. I saw it. I saw it. Shots fired at the keyboardist. <laughs> to out of the blues. <laughs> Everybody yeah. else in the band is really good. You know really what? Talented. Screw him. You know, I I don't like him. Who does he think he, he is? is? Yeah. Little bitch. That's what I think. But yeah, is. no, seriously, go, go check out Out of the Blues. Um, if you want to uh, have a better life and code your future, then check out 1150.org. Um, and if you like me, just keep doing what you're doing, baby. Because <laughs> the word of the day is chords. Yeah, yeah. And the word uh, of the day is always chords. Uh, speaking of which, like. We haven't said that for like. We haven't. Number podcasts. one, we haven't said yeah, that, but every other time we have tried to say that, mm-hmm. it always gets like. Over like overbared by uh, banter. Every, banter. Like I've literally noticed every single time, like when editing, I'm editing podcasts and videos and stuff. Mm-hmm. Anytime we anyone tries to say that, Garrett, you, anybody, it's just 
the word of the day is blah, blah, blah. It's just like it just an uproar happens yeah. anytime we try and say Coors. I feel terrible. Everybody knows the word of the day is Coors. It, yeah. We don't actually have to say it because it's always the word. Shout outs to uh, to Gary by the way as well. Yeah. In, in the land of the lost, or as most people know it, Louisville. So yep. hope he's doing all right. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, he, he was, seems like he's. Doing great. He was in my Twitch chat last night. How was he? Yeah, and talking to me for three whole lines of text. That's it. <laughs> what did he say? I don't remember. I just remember his name was Gorgonzola with like seven A's. And oh, he couldn't get the his name original. was Pink. No, of course he's not going to get the I original. I bet he doesn't Gorgonzola. even eat Gorgonzola. I it's probably his it. favorite cheese. Oh my gosh! I went to. Uh, you were talking about Olive Garden earlier, but I went to Olive Garden. And I got this like steak and uh, Alfredo, like it had like steak medallions and Alfredo medallions. It sounded <laughs> amazing, amazing. Sure does. And uh, food. But then Fuck they, off. they they put gorgonzola cheese on it. Ooh. Yep. It, it ruined it. it Wait, is, is gorgonzola it was so che- pugnant? Is pugnant? gorgonzola cheese pugnant. the shit that they walk around and like spread and like? That is not. That's. What is like, that? Is that just cheddar or something? Like yeah, mozzarella. It's cheddar. mozzarella. I oh, gotcha. Yeah. Um, I didn't know she was like, it might cheese? Just, no, I, I think like, yes. Just, it might just be Parmesan. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You know what I had to get since I can't yeah, get a lot sense. of the shit that's there? Mm-hmm. I had to get their um, chicken masala or whatever the head. The masala. Head. Yeah. It's like two grilled chicken breasts um, like in a sandwich type deal, but with melted cheese on top and mushroom. Ooh. Yeah. And that was really good. Damn, um, I'm so sorry that you had the unfortunate, like... It was, like, the only thing on the menu that didn't have... Wow, yeah, but that, that sounds thing. amazing. <laughs> yeah, no, it dude, was. I'm I was. I lucked like, out. Wow. I lucked out, for sure. But I, and, and then I had to get zucchini with it. Damn. I never had zucchini. That's so rough Did for you, you like that it? you had to yeah, enjoy right. a meal. Yeah, they, they put, like, <laughs> um, you know, some melted cheese on that, too. So it was really good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You never had zucchini? No, that was my first time having zucchini. Did I you think. like zucchini? It's okay. Are you a zucchinite? Um, one who likes that? zucchini. Is that assume, what that is? Just, is that that's what I put together. That's it now. Zucchini that's it nights. now. You heard it here, folks. Zucchinites unites. If you're a zucchinite, uh, please like and subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Zucchinite. I like zucchini. Have you ever had cactus? No. It's pretty good. I didn't know cactus was edible. I thought it just had like juices. Well, you definitely don't want to just find one in the wild and bite into it. Well, um, no. But yeah, cactus. You gotta, you gotta is, defeather it first. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Defeather it. Yeah, yeah, they roam in. They roam the desert. <laughs> they, don't you know and the and flying you, you, breed of cactus? Yeah, <laughs> you have to. You have to sneak up on it, or it just takes off. Yeah, yeah. you can scare s- cactus real easy. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, they can also. <laughs> damn, I just about made a terrible pun. I was about. They could also be, you know, quite the prick. But <laughs> <laughs> they're pricks. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, um, I can't remember what I had cactus in, but I have eaten cactus. Oh, you had it's it pretty like, tasty. You had it in like an entree. Yeah. Have you guys eaten uh, squid? Yes. No. Like gone to. Uh, have you had calamari? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's good. It's good. Nope. Never had squid. I, don't, I tend not to eat things with tentacles. Well, I mean, there's not a lot of things that that falls under, so I think you're safe. That's what. Yeah. For the most right. part. Oh, That's why I chose this, uh, to not do it. There's this uh, restaurant in. Uh, Hamilton Town Center. It's called like uh, Stone Creek something. Yeah, um, Stony Creek isn't that what it's yeah, called? I think. So. Or is that a road? That's a road. Well, both. But yeah, it's it's a Blowing it's my pretty mind. high end restaurant. You know, like yeah. you're paying a lot to sit down. Um, but they have this lobster. Yeah. Mac and cheese there. Ooh. Oh my. God. Mason, Ooh my. I'm gonna tell you right now. Stop talking about food. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm going to continue to talk about food for a second. Uh, the first time I ever had calamari was this past St. Patrick's Day. Um, if you know me, I'm not very big into seafood, which calamari would fall under. I was so drunk that somebody goes, Colin, why don't you order the fried calamari at this place? It's $18. Mm-hmm. And I said, Fuck yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Did you at the time know what it was? Yes. Okay. So you ordered it knowing what you were getting? Yes. Okay. And you just were like on a whim, like, I've never had calamari. I'm no. Just, I don't know what it is. I knew what it, it was, but I knew it was a bad decision, but oh. I was like, whatever, I'll spend 20 bucks. On cal- I'm drunk as shit right now. I'm in a good mood. I'm on cloud nine. Ain't nothing stopping me. Turns out I love calamari. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. So. Was it alive still? 
No. Is it, is it not it considered calamari if it's still fried like... calamari? Hey man, I don't fucking know. I, mean, I see that shit still. Which crawling I thought around. calamari is usually served raw, right? Like yeah. So that's Eventually. why it confused me that it was like fried calamari. It's like why? It's like saying order the fried raw fish. Yeah, could you uh, cook the shrimp for me? <laughs> or shrimp I sushi? That's what I meant to yeah. say. Like I've had a uh... dude. Sorry, go ahead. I, are you go about ahead. to say Dude. fried sushi? Because I'm about to punch you in the mouth if that's your idea. No, I, I meant like, <laughs> I wonder what that's like to deep fry sushi. <laughs> that's exactly what you were going to... I'm going to punch you in the mouth. I mean, mouth. they kind of <laughs> do already. Uh, what? Like, if you go to like Kobayashi, they have like fried... The fuck's Kobayashi? What? Have you never been there? It's a sushi bar. Yeah, and Fishers. Isn't that the guy that cut off Vegeta's tail on Dragon Ball? Yajirobe? That's close. Kobayashi. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, I'm uh, tired. <laughs> yeah, they got, like, fried sushi. But, no, I'm talking about, like, you take a sushi roll. Like, say you got a California and roll. And you, you you drop it down into, like, in the, some dough? The, the flour and the dough and, and the breading. And then you just drop it into the, the deep fryer. Why then... is that the most American thing I've ever heard somebody doing? I'm going to take this, the, this dish and I'm going to deep fry it. Because, fuck yeah, America. Yeah. I'm saying it what would tastes that, what good. Of like. course, yeah, it tastes I, good. I, I, I knew it would be good. I just meant like, you know, because I'm I'm in my mind right now thinking about the taste of sushi, and I'm just like, oh man, if you if that was just covered in <laughs> the bread, grease, oh my <laughs> bread, <laughs> would be good, man. But sushi like, is so good by itself. I, thank you. I was just thinking about making it better. Frying things doesn't always make it better. Bullshit. What? You know. You know they they, they <laughs> bullshit. They <laughs> deep logic you right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like they've even like deep fried the the deep fry stuff. What? Like you just so they fried again? Yeah, refried, like you, you deep fried. The, you get the flour and breading and in a ball, and then deep you fry, fry it, it, and then deep fry, fry it again. again. <laughs> That's disgusting. I bet now, I bet it's, it's good. just a curd. Do you remember yeah. that time when we were in uh, Arcadia? Yeah, his old yeah, yeah, and they the had apartment deep fryer, and we deep fried like. Cheeseburgers and we uh, deep fried a McDonald's McDouble. Yeah, yeah. That no, thing no, was, it was because so delicious. Oh, I bet. Yeah. No, it was because <laughs> I I worked at Dairy Queen and I brought home cheeseburgers. No, you, you did deep fry another one of those, but we went out and bought a yeah. McDonald's double cheeseburger purely for Dude, the sake of. Dude, wonder what deep fried uh, pizza is like. Um, the world may never know. I don't think you need to do that. You just <laughs> take a you just take a classic pepperoni slice, you know, hand toss crust and you just cover it in flour and then drop that mm, you know what you should there. do you should i don't know but i bet you're gonna tell me yeah. cover it in <laughs> cheese like like cover the whole thing with cheese and like then, nacho cheese well no but i mean like so like just dry cheese dry cheese okay. and then like put the breading on top today of that i learned so nacho then, cheese is wet cheese but continue. <laughs> <laughs> is it not? Is it not? <laughs> it's, I've, oh, I don't it's know. It's cheese in liquid form. That doesn't make it wet. It's wet. <laughs> is water I mean, wet? Yeah. Is if, it? If you... Yes. Y- I mean, no. What? Water's not wet. I'm so glad I said that, because now it's going to spur a fucking oh my hour God, long here con- No, hour, hour water's long. not okay. wet. No, water's not wet, because something has to be wet. Not the water. So if okay, what? Say you're in a submarine cone. It's like saying is fire burnt? Are you gonna? Is your submarine wet? Yes. No, it's submerged in water, making it wet. It's only wet if it's outside. Oh my! (laughs) I'm just fucking. But it becomes not wet after being outside for a minute. I'm not gonna lie. That almost made some sense. (laughs) it's so stupid yeah but. no i was just like well fuck is he right <laughs> oh, yeah. what, I don't know. out of the water maybe it's called something maybe submerged is the submerged is the precursor to wet the precursor some yeah the precursor so like if you're in a swimming pool you're not wet until you're outside. until you emerge from your submerged uh, position under the water yes holy shit and then which if you're standing in a swimming pool half of you is still submerged that half isn't wet, but the top half that has emerged from the water is now wet. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I've just been staring at your eyes, not listening to anything you've they're said. They're beautiful, aren't I, they? I know, dude. They're, they're a nice shade of hazel. Yep. I like yeah. it. Yep. Behind these hazel eyes. But yeah, no. Wet, submerged, 
Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Back to the original discussion. Nacho cheese is wet cheese. I guess. That's the only way I could have explained now, it. Now, if you got a bunch of nacho cheese... And submerged and you submerged it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be wet? You'd have a really fucked up swimming pool. That's for damn sure. Just nacho cheese all over That's it. That's on my bucket list. <laughs> a no. swimming pool of nacho cheese. Just to, just to be, be. So, on, on my doing a backstroke and a giant thing of <laughs> nacho cheese, and somebody just like throw just chips at me. If drowning? <laughs> you, could you drown in nacho cheese? Of or would course, you just, it's wet. Or would you just? <laughs> or would you just eat it? <laughs> okay, no. Here's the real question. If you had a pool full of nacho cheese, <laughs> How would this and then happen? submerged into said pool, okay, would you emerging? Be- would that make you wet with nacho <laughs> cheese? Yes, yeah, it would. I, I'd have to agree. Fuck. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't swim in things that aren't mine. Nacho cheese can be yours. Well, no, it's not nacho. It's cheese. not. It's not my. No, cheese. It's. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry. Dry to what were, you, for days. what were you saying that Austin had to clarify dry to wet cheese? He's like, so so dry cheese? He was like, <laughs> he was like, put some cheese on the pizza, deep fry it, and I was like, not <laughs> wet or dry cheese? <laughs> no, you said nacho cheese, and then he's like, no, and then you're like, oh, okay, dry cheese. So like, just, <laughs> <laughs> any cheese that was it close. All, it all comes full circle. Oh, so what were you talking about? What was I talking Deep about? Deep frying something with He's dry cheese. Well, I was talking about, like, if you took the breading or, like, uh, the flour that you were going to deep fry the pizza with, yeah. like, and you added, like, the dry cheese to it, mm-hmm. so it was, like, stuffed crust. Don't refer to it as dry cheese. So it's like a it's stuffed, what it is. It's a stuffed crust, deep fried whole pizza. That'd be fucking dope. That's called... Yeah, that's why I said it. That's, that's called doper, man. having a heart doper. attack mid-meal. Is that... I think eating anything... Deep fried just increases your chance of heart attack. Oh, yeah. Significantly. What if you deep fried a zucchini? Yeah, you'd have deep fried zucchini. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Check. Yeah, damn, Check. I'm on it. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mason, what would happen if you deep fried a food item? Would it become deep fried? Depends. Depends. Is it submerged still? Because then <laughs> is, it's there, not submerged? Is, there, is there any... The food item that is not deep fryable. Ooh. Um. Mm-hmm. You know, like Could anything you, can you think you of. Deep fry butter. Yes, they're literally they they do that. I think butter thing. isn't butter like part of the frying process. Right, anyway? but if you but they literally yeah. will put a stick of butter on a stick, and then just dip it in the deep fry, and then that's that. that there you go. We're oh, that is too awful. Much. Yeah, I'd eat it. I'd try it. I would deep fried Twinkies, deep fried Oreos, deep fried Reese's, yeah. yes. deep fried uh, yes. Snickers, yes, all deep that. fried. Uh, mm-hmm. mm. I bet you could. I mean, you could deep fry it, but I don't think you'd enjoy a deep fried like Nerds rope. I think that'd be pretty fucked I, up. It would be a because because you're comboing you're comboing <laughs> breading with s- sweetness. Or, oh, or like you know a deep I mean? fried yeah. Whopper. It's like when Mason the other day was talking about how Nerds rope, like Nerds rope, is really good. Mm-hmm. And Mason was like, why don't they have a chocolate nerd's rope? And it's because that, that doesn't work. It's mm. Fruitiness is the perfect unless shape they, for unless, a candy well, rope. Yeah, unless they the change thing. the flavor of the nerds, though. But Mason's like, I want some chocolate ropes. And it's like, that's <laughs> not good. And it never would be good. So you can deep fry chocolate stuff and stuff that has like cream, like Twinkies. But you can't deep fry fruity well, what if stuff. What if they only put like white, brown, and like kind of darker brown colored nerds on there and each one was like you know like the dark Austin? one would be like hold on and the dark one would be like dark chocolate the white one would be like vanilla and then, then like the brown one would be like chocolate but then uh, the ro- the rope would be like kind of like tootsie roll flavored it's still nerds because it's like they're they're nerds mm-hmm. they just change the flavor of them a little bit you know you could even have ones on there like coffee flavor it's just mm, like boom. toffee toffee kind of mm, yeah toffee salted caramel yeah, there you go. Yo, you, you put some yellow ones on there. Do you there? think that some like amber colored ones, and that's that's caramel? Oh, dude, I just invented a. Fucking I don't know who the genius who thing. the idiot between the two of us is, but we're about to find out. What? Do different colored nerds taste differently? Yes. No, they don't. No, don't that's so. no, no, they, no, they do because you, you know when you get the half and half boxes of nerds. Yeah. The the grape purple, and the strawberry. The purple one's grape, and the other one's strawberry. Exactly. Yeah. It's not, it's not like Skittles. Even when you get like, well, yeah, what? 
Skittles are different depending on the color. You're right. <laughs> it's not like M&M's. It's not like M&M's. There we go. That's what I want to say. <laughs> That's what came to mind when you said uh, it's not like Skittles. M&M's came into my brain. And I was like, yeah, he's right about it. Wait a minute. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, it's true. But when you get that whole box of rainbow Skittles. No, uh, nerds or, do have different flavors. Yeah, we thank you. Thank you. We're back. Welcome, We're Mason. Back. Yeah. As we figured that out yeah. without using the technology in our pocket. Yeah. I used it. It's crazy, huh? I used it. Yeah, I noticed you did. <laughs> I made you late. I didn't know. But going back to your idea, yes, that could actually work. Yeah. We needed you when we were talking about chocolate rope because yeah. we were like, chocolate's not malleable enough to become a rope. Yeah. Yes, it can. Have be. you ever? Yeah, you yes, ever, he just described it would be perfectly. Yeah, with a tootsie roll, something no, you could do. Like it's it's like as if you were to take if you were to unwrap a bunch of tootsie rolls. Yeah, they even make tootsie roll rope. Like By really God, long. you're a fucking genius. So why don't we just do that and get like the the milk uh, instead of getting... chocolate flavored nerds and just no, kind of roll it in it? I don't. Just... Is there milk chocolate flavored nerds? No, but there needs to be. No, wait, get those <laughs> things. You remember those candy bars that you that you could get back at the high school that are like the chocolatey clear shit that yeah. had the oh yeah. Just get that shit and wrap it around. Yeah, that. that'd be fucking amazing. That'd be good. Yeah. All right, back to the prior debate: deep frying fruity candy. See, can't do it. Can't do it because. Dude, it depends on what it is. It depends on what candy it is. Starburst. What Starburst? <laughs> I wouldn't do it. <laughs> does that, does that saying pink Starburst make work. you go, ah, uh, maybe, but, but yellow, you're but, like, okay, fuck but, no. But what if, what if, what if, um, because you know, don't they have, don't they have strawberry ones? Strawberry Starburst? Strawberry? Yeah, so think about yeah. this. What if you deep fried a strawberry Starburst, mm-hmm. but then covered it in, like, icing? It would taste like a fucking strawberry shortcake almost, like a... Can you just deep fry a strawberry? Yes, you yes, can. you can. I've had one. It's actually awesome. I because sound, they put I chocolate. I sound like Mason saying deep fried zucchini. Zucchini now. Yeah. yeah. No, you, of course you could deep fry a strawberry. And it tastes amazing. Yeah. yeah they put so why would deep frying and... a Starburst taste any different? Again, I said it depends on the Starburst. Like, you couldn't deep fry a fucking lemon star. Well. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I was like, are you going to be like a pink one? I'd do it. But it'd yellow, just be, it'd like, be like lemon cake. Dude, it'd yeah. be like lemon. They put some powdered sugar on there and you'd be good to go. Exactly. So yeah, you could deep fry. God, stuff. you could deep fry eat. anything. I don't think there's one thing that's coming to mind right now. What about deep frying cottage cheese? That probably wouldn't. Meat's be probably good. a no go. I don't think you could do. What that. are you talking about? You can't. You couldn't like deep fry fucking lunch We'd meat. We deep. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you could. could. You could deep fry anything. <laughs> anything. Can you deep fry fry anything? Let's find out. I don't think there's one thing though. Let us know in the comments if the, if there's something no, that cannot be de- deep fried. No, this is a debate that's going on. Keep thinking. I'm just saying. You can let us know in the comments. Yeah, lis- listeners, tell us that you for if there's anything you know for a fact cannot be deep fried because it would just be. Terrible. What about like a cellar? Well, cellar could be deep fried too. Cellar can be deep. It'd just be really dry. No, I don't in know. bed. Well, seeing as you already, is it true? I guess that you, you just dip it in some ranch and be ice. Eating celery takes more energy than the celery has in it or whatever yeah, you don't it gain takes it. more you don't, calories you don't, yeah you don't gain any calories from so it. you get that would first of all be false after you deep fried it you'd be getting a lot more calories you only get calories from the the breading though like the deep fry stuff not the celery what you would get calories from the celery not then yes celery has like less than one gram of carbs and shit. carbs yeah calories i'm tired shut up <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so I don't know. I think it'd take more to eat deep fried celery than regular celery. How about you just not deep fry celery? I'm not saying it's not possible. It's just one of those things that I'm like not just deep to frying fry. vegetables anyway. Like hey, broccoli. Deep fried deep fried peppers would be good. Exactly. There's nothing yeah. wrong with deep frying. Well, there's a lot wrong with deep frying all your food, but in this sense, deep frying all your. And food I'm not. I, when I say like. You know, when I'm naming all these things off, I'm not talking about eating these things consistently all the time being deep fried. I'm talking about just experimenting. Yeah. Like just trying it. Didn't we deep fry a pair of shades? Probably. Yes. I feel like we did. Yes, we did. (laughs) Yep. You are correct. We're fucking idiots. Hell yeah, we are. You can deep fry a boot. (laughs) Yeah, you could. Technically, you can eat a boot. Well, probably not today's standards. What's this old boot? Could you deep fry... An uncracked egg. You no. Know. That's that that's it? been tried actually. Is that it? See the thing that happens is is the breading and stuff 
on the outside is is correct, right? Yeah. But as soon as you go into it, it's it's just molten yolk. It doesn't like it's not it doesn't get hot enough unless you leave it in there too long and the breading's ruined yeah but it doesn't stay in there long enough while deep frying to boil the inside of it uh, well the way i mean i'm just curious does the eggshell still stay there as yeah. in like yeah solid egg shell oh yeah yeah can't deep fry <clears throat> an egg nope you can you can well i was gonna say you could boil the egg deshell it and then deep fry it but i'm afraid that extra time of cooking yeah would make it because I don't know, like, how mm-hmm. far can you cook a, or how far can you boil an egg after it's already been boiled? You know what I mean? Before it's just bad. Bad. Well, I mean, I don't know. Do eggs even get bad after you cook them? Well, they're eggs. Of course, there's a time limit. As well, I mean, I'm not meaning, like, leave it out for two weeks, but I'm saying, like, can you overcook an egg? In that yeah. sense, when you're boiling, though, when you're boiling, when you're, boiling you're making it? my brain hurt. Yeah. Um, my brain's been hurt since zucchini. I don't know. I mean, like, I assume yes. I assume yeah. Like what you happened? Because like you bad. know how after the, after the the yolk like coagulates basically. Yeah. What happens if it keeps going? It just what's it turn into? It would just set a fucking blaze. <laughs> <laughs> it turns into. Diamonds. Well, I don't know. I was boiling the egg and then suddenly fire. <laughs> fire underwater. I can't do anything about it. The, the, okay, so the, what I want to understand is the fire is submerged under <laughs> yeah. the water. Is it wet? Is it wet? <laughs> <laughs> or, is the, or is the water on fire? <laughs> so, oh, my God. Is the water ablaze? That is the question of the ages right oh, there. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, uh. We're gonna leave that one open ended. Let's uh, let's move on. Um, to what? What we talk about on this channel, which is video games and movies and I stuff. I was actually unaware that this was a video game and or movie discussion podcast. Oh well, welcome. What's this place called? What? Yeah. Where am I right now? Daniel's house. No. <laughs> what? Yes, I am at Daniel's house. <laughs> I don't know what you're asking me. <laughs> the bootleg <laughs> shanty. Thank you, Mason. Holy moly. <laughs> the okay. bootleg shanty. Well, could what's you your deep point? deep fry a bootleg shanty? Oh, well, I yeah. just said you could deep fry a boot and technically eat it if it was an old if it was an old day standards of a boot. Because nowadays you have all this fucking Let's like see. stuffing and like um, nylon and all kinds of shit like in line and inside of it, it and like steel toe and all this shit. But back then when it was just literally just leather and sole, you could you can technically eat the leather. Is it good? Hell no. Oh, well, why would you eat it? When you're, hey, desperate times, bro. If you're, if you're stranded or something, because it's technically skin. Like, it's technically... Ew. It's cowhide. It's cowhide, yeah, yeah. You can technically eat it. Thanks for the update on but what nowadays, is. nowadays, <laughs> like, it's all cured and shit, and it's got a bunch of chemicals and stuff to make it last. And everything, God you know. damn chemical companies making it even impossible for me to eat a boot. What's wrong with them? <gasps> First the corn. Just, let me okay. eat my boot since, piece. since we're talking about that, um, yeah. actually, this was a conversation that and it wasn't um, like it didn't last very long because we had to do other shit. But this conversation came up in class today, and it was like, did you know that you know when you go to the store and you um, like you buy a thing of of ground beef, mm-hmm. right? You, you know how it's like red. Okay. Yeah. You know that's not blood. Yeah, yeah, that's how they keep it. Fresh. It's a, it's it's a chemical that yeah. colors it red. Yeah, that's fucked to yeah. me. I didn't know that this whole time. I'm just it's supposed like, to be just oh, brown. It's just, it's just flesh. You know, it's just it's just red because it's flesh. It's meat, so yeah. it's red. No, you know? it's supposed to be just brown. It'll just be like brown, like if it's good. Because it's like, and the only times that you actually get legit blood is if number one they just slaughtered it, just did it then, and it's in one of those airtight sealed ones mm-hmm. because then there's no air to coagulate the blood so the blood just kind of accumulates into the pockets so isn't there blood in steak though <clears throat> like when you cook steak see i thought but i guess is that not it is that not blood it because it coagulates it might not be blood that might just be the chemical i don't fucking know man like i really don't i didn't know what to tell them in class the guys that sit in my row i was just like dude i don't fucking know that because they were like bringing up some good points i was like Holy shit, you're about to make me just rethink every fucking piece of meat I've ever had in my life. Dang. I'm just sitting here eating chemicals. That makes me think, when we were talking to 
Quinn not that long ago, and we were talking about steaks. And he's like, nah, I like mine bloody. I'm like, nah, he likes his chemically. Next time he says that, I'm going to be like, <laughs> yeah. you mean that you like it chemically? Yeah. <laughs> chemically. Oh, no. I'm sorry. That's awesome, though. Yeah, I guess. Awesome? Yeah. Describe if, awesome. Like, why is that awesome, that it's what? chemicals? Yeah, why, why do you enjoy <laughs> yeah. eating cooked preservatives? Because, you know... Everyone else does it. Yeah, I'm not going to... Why can't I do it, too? I'm not going to, like, hate on you because you think it's awesome. I'm, not I'm gonna just ha- curious I'm gonna... why you're like, that's awesome. I'm not going to hate <laughs> on <laughs> me, either. It's just... I was being... You were meaning it just to... Yeah, I... Sorry, I thought you were actually like, no, like, I have a reason why that <laughs> was awesome. Oh, dude, it's totally awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, get this. I could die earlier. Awesome. Awesome. No. I saw... Why is dying have to taste so good? Sorry. Yeah, Those GMOs, exactly. bro. Exactly. <laughs> That's the thing. What does GMO stand for? Genetic modified organism. Is it really? <laughs> organism? <laughs> is it really? I don't. I think so. That sounds like Genetic a fucking modified alien. organism. Yeah. Sounds Maybe like an alien that crawled out of a oh, test tube. Oh, hold two. on, hold on. I might be just completely wrong. The genetically modified organism escaped from its cage into a UFO. Nope, I am. Further known as an right. unidentified flying object. What's up? I am completely Genetically modified red. organism. Yeah. You can get diseases. Yeah. Yeah, that's why GMOs are bad. Those, bad. Those but, bastards. But they tell us that they're not bad. And did you ever you ever hear the discrepancy between the chicken meat that's used at McDonald's? No. There's always a just like anytime it comes up an argument. Yeah. There's always this this discrepancy where it's like there's a one group that's like, yeah, the chicken nuggets that they use or the, the McChickens that they use are from, like, there's people out there that literally believe that they just take chicks like, and, and, throw and, them. and just grind them all up and then put them into a patty and that's your fucking, Ew. your whatever. I'm like, no. Because there was a thing I was watching. It was like a like a documentary or whatever. They, they you know, how because they have chicken farms, right? Yeah. When the chicken becomes old. And can't produce eggs anymore. Mm-hmm. Then they use that. That's the meat that they use for the so I chicken get old nuggets. Chicken. And shit. Yeah, you get elderly chickens. Yeah, that's something. But it's bad because wow. after after a while, like after um, they reach a certain age and stuff, they become susceptible to like parasites and stuff. Oh shit! Or not mm. parasites. It's like a thing where they start getting holes in their their meat and stuff. Like there's that's gross. Yeah. 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 Mm. And so that's why I can't wait till that happens to us from an alien race or something. Well, it made me it made me freak out once because I had just got done reading that. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I went and got to make chicken, obviously. Yeah. That's the thing you do because you're just like, oh man. Yeah. He was like, oh man, this is disgusting. It makes me <laughs> want to make chicken. Don't they like <laughs> bleach it though? But no, here's okay. So and then I I bit into this McChicken, right? Okay. And it had like a pocket in it that was just filled with juices. Yes. And so I was like, oh god. Is this just, like, pus I'm eating right now of chicken? No. That's fucking disgusting. Yeah. Like, I, was like, I was like, what is happening? I was, I'm, I'm till this day, just telling myself it was just a pocket of grease. That's all. I'm, I'm just going to say it's a pocket of grease uh, for the sake of uh, argument. Mm, mm. God, I do want Deep <clears> down in the right chicken. Now, though. Dude, it was like one time <laughs> I, uh, I got a uh, chicken sandwich from uh, a Subway, and, ooh. They, I, you got a chicken sandwich from a Subway or Subway? I'm not gonna pinpoint the subway that I went to. That, Cause that's weird and gross. What? That you just went to a subway and got a chicken sandwich somehow. What do you mean? He's not talking about the restaurant, Mason. He's talking about a literal subway. It's probably not sanitary. Who? What, what the guy? What the guy look like that you got it from? I am going. Selling to- your sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got that guy grilled. I got artisan. <laughs> artisan. <laughs> You want bruschetta? <laughs> B- bruschetta? B- bruschetta? Uh, but there was a... I just got, like, the chicken Bouchette. breast. Yeah. You know? Oven roasted. There's not supposed to be, uh, like, a big old bone in there, is there? The, but... No. no. no I got not. a big old fucking bone. Hey, hey, but that tells you it's real. It's a chicken. That's a Th- chicken It bone. tells me that it's, like, probably not chicken. That's real. Probably not chicken. It's just well, like if it's not raccoon. chicken, it still was something that had bones, so it's real. Makes me feel so much artificial better. bones. Yeah, <laughs> artificial <laughs> GMBs. We're gonna implant this bone here. Genetically modified bones. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be sick. 
You could you imagine? <laughs> yeah, could you imagine the possibilities of genetically modified bone? Isn't that technically <laughs> why Wolver- Wolverine? Wolverine. Is Wolverine. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh yeah, Wolverine and his GMBs. GMBs. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Speaking of genetically modified, um, did you guys see anything on the Cyberpunk 2077 coming out? Damn. What a segue. <laughs> Holy shit. I wish well, I had let a me, segue. Let me sit down for a second. I'm going to stand back up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I did not. That came out of left field. Wait, you were standing up this whole time? <laughs> God damn it, Mason. That's the illusion. What you saw hey. was me standing. Anyways. We're all sitting down and Colin's just standing up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, he's just got to stretch his legs. Cyberpunk. Yeah. <clears throat> um, looks crazy. Yeah. I mean, I've been kind of like, I'm not, I, like, I can't lie, I've not been super hyped for it because it's just been kind of like hush hush, like kind of in the wind a little bit. Yeah. But I, I didn't even know about it until, uh, what's the time on the podcast? Well, technically, the first 20 minutes or so have to be edited out. So technically, we're at like 25 minutes. So I didn't even know about it 20, 40 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm super hyped for it. Yeah. Um, it looks nuts, man, because it's like uh, it's an RPG aspect, right? Mm-hmm. And so you can fully customize your, your person. You can make them look however you want. Um, you can make them wear whatever they want. You know? I like that. I like yeah, that. They you can have, you can have whatever, whatever weapons you Is want. Is it just an RPG or an MMO RPG? I don't know. Because they only they've only described it as a first person RPG. Well, isn't that what Destiny is? Sort, of, but this has like way more RPG aspects to it, though. Well, yeah, like it goes but way deeper. Destiny, than Destiny is an MMO RPG. Okay, well then, yeah, <clears throat> we can consider it an MMO. Massively RPG. multiplayer yeah. online. It's. I don't think it's online though. In 2018, oh. I don't think so because they haven't shown anything. 2018. With it being online. I mean, I can I can see it being that way with with the aesthetic of it. Yeah, you know, it would make sense that there would be online. Mm-hmm. But they haven't said anything about it. At least I haven't heard anything about it. But it's massive, massive open world, and it's like just filled to the brim with NPCs, dude. And like every single one of them has uh, like conversation um, trees that you can initiate. Yeah, and they're all different. Every one of them. There's like a day and night cycle. Mm-hmm. Every one of them has things that they go and do every day that are different and shit. And it's like, um, depending on your answers and depending on what path you take, completely alters how the game uh, plays out that, that thus far. I mean, it, is it just like a giant city? <clears throat> yes. Yes. And there's like highways, there's, you know, slums, there's rich areas and all kinds of shit, man. And it's like you you can run into other NPCs who are like way higher level than you. And, like, that can just whoop your ass and shit. And there's, like, um, you know, like, underground gangs and stuff. Like, there's this one these, this one gang group that hijack uh, convoys of, like, military tech and then completely modify their bodies. Like, they're obsessed with modifying. Genetic modified even, even by that times Even by that time standards. Because, like, in, in this time period, it's, it's normal for you to get a few body modifications. Mm-hmm. Um, but for them, it's, like, they're borderline cyborgs now. Like, there's hardly any human left in him. So and there's cyberpunks. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I fucking hate that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's, that's not what they're called. They're called uh, Maelstrom or some shit like that. Wow. But, um, hmm. Yeah. Uh, but, like, the gameplay trailer I saw, the main character, who the person chose to be was V, the female character. She, in the beginning, had a modification already in her eye. Which was like a targeting, like display type thing. Of course, yeah. of course. But throughout the, the gameplay, she uses credits that she gets from him, like a job to go get more, mm-hmm. and she gets her eye modif- modified more so that she has this zooming thing that she can do. Where can she, it's like binox, basically. You have okay. like your eyeball, and then you have like a, a scanning thing now where you can scan different targets and stuff and get information about like them from a and, database. Right, right. Almost like okay. Google Glass, almost you know, mm-hmm. type shit. And then she got this, um, her hand modified. With it, basically the machine took off her whole palm mm-hmm. and everything, and then replaced it with metal. And like it, it was, it helps her grip. Like she has like super grip strength, I guess now. Okay. Yeah, or like her weapon can't get knocked out of her hand now, type of thing. And like it helps with uh, steadying and stuff, you know. Like, um, okay. Yeah. And it was cool because the, the first opening scene of it is her and her partner go into an apartment 
looking for a target, and the target is in danger of being um, having their organs. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, harvested by like a illegal group of people that do that, I guess, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's, it was badass, man, because um, she walks in and this guy's like putting a body in a tub, and he's one of the bad guys. She comes up right behind him, man, and like dunks his head in the water. And then her her gun can shoot underwater, and then to keep it silent, puts it underneath the water and blows his head off in the water to keep it quiet. Jesus. I was like, "Damn, that's fucking sick. That's brutal." Wow. Yeah, and um, a lot. Of, I don't know if they're gonna do this throughout the whole game, but as they're getting in a gunfight with the people who are in this apartment, the bad guys start shooting through the walls at them, and so and so like the walls are destructible and everything. Like you, they can blow holes in the wall and everything. There's like rounds that go through the wall. And then are explosive on the outside, like they explode on the other side of the wall. So they, you know what I mean. And it's like throughout the game, you can get all kinds of upgraded weapons and shit. Like there's this one gun that um, has like seeking bullets, so you can be around a corner and just shoot in front of you, but they curve and go to their target basically. Damn, like a yeah, needler. Kind of, yeah, but yeah. Needlers yeah. don't do that. Needlers yeah. will you kind of have to if point you see at them. them. Yeah, yeah, you, you have to be kind of like aiming at them. Fuck the needler. Yeah, and they don't explode when a bunch of them collect into one spot. But anyways, um, there was that one. There was like, uh, I'm trying to think of the other weapons she had. Her pistols, what's badass to me? Oh, there was like a shotgun, a double barrel shotgun that um, had different like firing modes on it. Like it kind of like transforms almost hmm. to where you know, like there's like a really powerful shot, and then there's like multiple other shots. But um, let's see. Because, like, as the, the gameplay demos goes along, the developers, like, unlock certain things just to show them what's possible type of thing. And um, one was she had what's known as mantis blades in her arms, which Fuck. which these giant blades come out the side of like her arm. Like a mantis. Right, right. And uh, she was using them. First of all, her like they made her, like, agility go all the way up, like, like level all the way up. So she ran on the side of the walls and then stuck the blade in the wall to hang there for a second and then aimed at a guy and jammed uh, his neuro connection with his gun, and then jumps on the guy that's next to him, assassinates him, and the guy goes to shoot her, and nothing happens because his gun's jammed and shit. And then take, and then just like cuts his head off and shit. Awesome. I was just like, dude, this is gonna be dope. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So it's gonna be kind of like, uh, I mean, because I had the same like you. You're telling me that, and I had the feeling of uh, what's what's that game called where you're like the assassin? Deus Ex. Well, no, um, it's uh, Dishonored. Assassin's Creed. Oh, Dishonored. <laughs> Dishonored. So it's like How a first person. Uh, well, so is Deus Ex. Yeah. You're a, a kind of an assassin in that as well. Um, Except it's more future dystopian type shit. So you're just going to be able to like jump around and do a bunch of crazy jumps. You You can make your character an agile character. Or you can make your, your character like a... Um, Tanky, bulky. Yeah, or like a techie, like where they're kind of... They stay in the shadows and just kind of fuck shit up to get what they need. You can even make your you can have a pacifist character where you don't engage in combat with anybody. You because you can complete missions without engaging in combat. Wow. Yeah. I mean the possibilities are fucking endless, man. Just persuade your way. Like because yeah, one of the missions in, in the gameplay that sh- that they were doing is um, that gang I was telling you about that hijacked the convoy. The one of the agents of the company that owned the tech that was in the convoy hired her to go. They were like, just go in there and here's 50 credits or 50,000 credits to buy this spider drone that they stole from us. We need it back. And she's like, okay, cool. She walks in there and it's like, everything's kind of shaky. Everything's kind of like, um, everybody's nervous and like on edge and shit. And they don't know cause they don't trust each other type shit, but they go in there and she buys it. Right. And like the gang leader comes up, takes the credit or the chip from her that has all the money on it and then he went to go plug it in to make sure all the money's there and that chick that hired you put a virus in there and it like fucked the whole building up and like lit it up on the map so that they could find out where they were there was like this guy that was plugged in to the system on this uh stretcher and because of that virus his eyes literally like burst into flames and like fire was coming out of his mouth and stuff because it just fried his whole fucking brain and shit I was like, "Damn, this is fucking brutal, dude." Sounds like it's gonna be neat. It's gonna be cool, man. It's got it's very 
Judge Dreddy like vibes, Deus Ex vibes, Matrix vibes, um, kind of like Ready Player One vibes. You know, like it's the future, but it's it's gritty. It's like dirty. It's right. You know, and they they have like these massive uh, apartment buildings that are kind of like their own civilizations, basically. Because there's so many people that they've had to like start stacking people on top of each other, basically. So to live. like, um, the problem with open like huge open worlds mm-hmm. is like you know like I don't know how they're gonna pull it off. There's not like a lot that you can do. Like it's more <laughs> empty. There's a lot you can do in this. Well, it's good. It's not empty. I can promise you that. Even when she's like driving on the highways and stuff. Like yeah, some of the places that she goes, there's like not a lot of NPCs, but it's like it's in places that there wouldn't be. You know. There's like a few homeless guys and that's it, you know. So like that makes sense. Under underneath a, a fucking overpass somewhere random, next to a dam or something, there's not gonna be a lot of people. Yeah. But you can get like deeper into the city and then you start running into people. But you have like the classic, um, you know, you'll have like a business chick walking by, but then at the same time you have another, um, I don't know, like a teenager holding a fucking b- boombox. But then you have this other crazy guy who's trying to sell you shit, and it's just like you can engage with everybody, bro. It's weird. There's like bars you can go to. You can buy clothes, weapons, whatever. You know. So you just look like a complete badass while you walking can, yeah. through all these people. You can, yeah. I I don't know if it's just me, but I'm not. I don't like the whole open world craze that every game has to do now. Like I feel like there's just a point where it's it's kind of meaningless. But what's like what's the latter though? I mean, it's like if you get a, a game that's not that open, that much open world, it's like. You, once you reach the edge and see everything that's in within it, that's it. Yeah. They're trying to make it bigger and bigger so that there's just endless things to do and they keep replayability. Yeah, well, I mean, kind of, but you have to think as well with how how far video games have gone mm-hmm. that they just don't create the quality content that they used to in older yeah, games. Yeah, right. Because this company that's making this game right now, mm-hmm. you know, they've already said it's been delayed a few times. Like yeah, and the, he literally, the narrator said that at least probably like eight times throughout the video that this is a work in progress. Everything you see is subject to change, blah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But it's like they're pumping so much into this game that in two years – they're going to make a new game that's just like it. Nobody's going to go back to this game. Man, I hope, but not. It's I hope like, that's not the case. They're all just diluted of content. Like, right. I mean, yeah, it's cool. You can go into any bar and change your clothes and multiple clothes shops. But like, how different is that bar on one side of the city to this bar? It's I essentially going to be the same shit. The ones Maybe I saw were all, all different. different themed. I mean, they, you know... I don't know, like, because like for her to even have gotten this contract to go meet with the, um, basically the agent or whatever the the, the corporation agent that owns the military tech, she got the job to go meet with that person from this other guy who was a mob boss, and knew that she was in the business of doing that, and the whole the whole point of the whole game is for them to make the quote unquote big leagues. Yeah. So you're trying to get like the whole time you're you're accepting more dangerous and dangerous, yeah. and like each time you do it, it builds street cred. So if you start out as nobody and you only have a partner with you, but eventually you can become well known, and the more well known you get, the different di- it like activates different dialogue between NPCs. Mm-hmm. People walk by you in the streets and be like, "Oh, hey, you know." It sounds like a glorified Grand Theft Auto. <sighs> To, like, to put it in a simple term, I like don't mean Grand that in a bad way. Fucking but, acid or some shit. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the same stuff we've seen from Grand Theft Autos and stuff though. Like it's, even if, even if it bombs or whatever, I'm still gonna check it out just because I like the aesthetic of it. I, I hope it doesn't bomb. I'm just meaning that like, to me, an open world doesn't necessarily mean that the game is gonna be anything right. you know good. Yeah. Like yeah, you you like the idea you can go onto highways, you can do all that kind of crazy shit. Yeah. But to me, it's like. If it kind of takes away from the purpose of the game, mm-hmm. which is why I've never really been a fan of the Grand Theft Autos, it's because, like, if I play a Grand Theft Auto, half the time I don't even know the game, mm-hmm. like, what I'm doing. Like, I'll usually end up on top of a building with a sniper rifle and, like, five stars with people coming at me. Jesus, you're that's typically, up. yeah, I'm, I fucking do crazy <laughs> shit. No, there's, that's like, not you, one person who, has, who has played Grand Theft Auto that doesn't do that. Exactly. So. But it's like, some would argue that is the game. Yeah. But if that is the game, I 
can only see myself playing it for so long. Right. You know, yeah. that's and why that's, I can't play single player anymore. I can only play multiplayer for GTA. I feel like it's. I've recently become attached to the Final Fantasy series. Mm-hmm. That's not a lie. Obviously, I've been nonstop talking about it, playing it. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of I've never played them before, so mm. it's changing my perspective on what I want in, in a video game. Right. And I feel like that type of RPG does everything right because there's a overworld map that you can go and visit certain things. Yes, but there's not one thing in those games that doesn't pertain to the story. Never takes you away from. The now, what game. about the, what about the new one? What new one? I don't new, know. I the new played Final the new Fantasy because that's totally open world. Yeah, I'm talking about the older ones. And there's a lot of things that you can do that don't really pertain to the story. It's a lot of just yeah. side bullshit. It's and huge. Chances are, I'm not gonna like that one as much as I'm liking the ones I, I played. I did hear from a lot of people. I mean, there was people that are like, "It's so badass. It's gorgeous. You fight the most ridiculous shit. It's cool that you can have your own car and drive around and do whatever and see whatever you want." But then there's other people like that are say, that say what you're saying right now, where it's just like. They're just kind of like, what happened to Final Fantasy, dude? Like, I remember it being just kind of like a... It wasn't like they were saying it was linear, but it was just like... You knew what you had to do and where to go. Exactly. Well, know? I mean, even that's kind of um, far-fetched But you know Final what I mean? Like, but, like, it but, was easy to figure out, is what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It's... Truth be told, um, I don't know if I like that Final Fantasy. Because the ones I'm talking about was... I've played seven. Right. I'm playing through six currently. Um, and those, yes, they are open world in a sense because once you get put onto the map you can go to certain areas where you don't need to be yet you can do all that kind of stuff but like i said there's nothing in the game that doesn't add to the story yeah this game that you're talking about cyberpunk it's like will i ever need to go into one of those clothing stores to change my clothes or is that purely aesthetic it's well no because there there's okay so with the with the street cred thing, yeah, you can kind of. It's not just fashion. Mm-hmm. Like yes, you can put your gang and stuff on the back of your jacket. You can put patches on it that you want. Like you can make it look as badass as you want. But you can put armor on it. Yeah, you know, you can put stuff that helps so, you. In, so in it combat. will be kind of important. Kind of, yeah. yeah. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be detrimental, but it's. It'll help. Yeah, you know, it'll so give you kind like of a, a buff. A police force yes. in this game. Yes, and in fact, the that scene I was telling you about in the beginning, where they um, she went in and saved the target from getting the, her organs uh, harvested. Okay, she had to call in at that point. And first of all, there was like this chick that was like her um, eyes and ears, like like hacker, like ch- type chick that was like basically hacking in the system, telling them when shit was coming. You don't see her one more time throughout the whole game. She's like, all right, signing off, gotta go. And then that's it because the, the police were arriving. And she's like, I got to get out of here because it's dangerous. you know. And then you don't see her throughout the whole other gameplay. So it's like, I wonder if these are people that you just hire for certain things and then they just kind of go about and do whatever the fuck they want. You know what I mean? But anyways, when they saved the chick, they had the, the company that owns this chick's organs, they considered the, her organs to be assets and shit. And they showed up basically to collect her. Mm-hmm. and put her on a stretcher and shit, but they were, like, military guys, and, like, they were totally hostile to your character who just saved the asset. Oh, shit. And they were, like, back the fuck up, back up five steps, and they had, like, guns drawn on her and shit, and it was just, like, place her on the stretcher, like, right, get the fuck out of here type of thing, and then they took her on a helicopter, like, thing. Well, it wasn't a helicopter, it was, like, a hovercraft, and then took off. And it was, like, you don't see him again until they need you again. So what I'm wondering is that, like, is there going to be... But so, yes, there's police everywhere. So there's cars can, that say police on it. But can you fly around in a in a car? There's hover cars, yeah. But the one, the only one I saw her drive was a, a street car. Hmm. Okay. It was like this badass Trans Am looking thing. I don't know, but it was dope looking. And the way the doors open up, it's like you would think it's either gonna be butterfly doors or something. But it was like it pops out and then slides to the back of the car, almost like a van door, but with like a robot arm type thing. Oh. And nice. then she just like does this and pulls it and it comes back. But her, like, um, miles per hour gauge was, like, the classic um, Judge Dredd where it's, like, just a bar. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where, like, starts down here and then the faster you get, the bar gets bigger and brighter or whatever. It was cool looking, man. The whole inside of the cockpit and shit is dope. You got, like, a display computer and all this shit that you get calls and stuff from. 
It looks great. I mean, it's beautiful. Like it'll look great. The the e- even during even during the like gameplay or the you know like the, the beta test or whatever, there was no like frame stutter mm-hmm. or anything. I mean, it was seamless. Then that, and that's their whole thing is they're trying to make it to where there's no loading screens. Everything's seamless at what regardless of what sector you enter, you know. And I mean, there's just so many different like weapons and stuff that are in the game that they're incorporating. Like when she goes to visit that gang place that stole all the tech, mm-hmm. when she, when she like shows up, a camera pops out and it's like, "Who the fuck are you?" And she's like, "I'm here to see blah blah blah," which is the leader guy. And he's like, "All right, come on in or whatever." And they like open the door and there's like turrets set up inside the door and shit, and they like shut down because they're letting them through. And then as they're going through the hallways, there's, like, little shrapnel mines and stuff along the wall that deactivate as you're coming close to them so that they don't blow up. So it's like if you just showed up and snuck in there, none of that shit would be deactivated. You'd have to go through all of that, dodge all of that, you know, sneak around. try Because there's, like, um, like, air shafts and stuff that you can break into and sneak into these places. You don't have to come in there, like, acting all buddy-buddy with them and stuff. You can come in there guns blazing you can take a stealth approach, you know. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like it'll be crazy. It's just, um, there's just as much potential for it to be good as there is for it to be bad. Yeah. You know. That's what I feel like today's day and age of yeah. video games. As long it, as, uh, I hope they make it, um, pretty difficult. Oh, yeah. So like, I like I said, you know, because you, you start out like, what, like level one? But you literally, at any point in time in the game, even early on missions, run into NPCs who are, like, level 90 and shit, who will, like, literally take you out like it's nothing. So it's like, you can choose to try and fight them, but they're going to fucking kill you. And I, I don't know if they're doing permadeath or not. I don't know if permadeath is a thing, where you have to start over a new character if your character dies. That'd be cool. Oh, well, that'd be just That'd be terrible. sick, man. It'd make you it'd make you play strategically and carefully, yeah. I'd be as that. long as it's like um, there was kind of like a different startup. Like I, I, I don't know how the game if begins. You, if you just like start, if you, like if you had a permadeath and you just start up as a new character when you die, it's not just like the same story. See, I I don't know how much they could do that because it's. There's going to be some things that have to be the, the mm. same, no matter yeah. what. And I think your character has, like, her own... Like, I don't know if it's different for the guy character, but your character has their own, like, persona. So, like, they have their own agenda when you're not playing. Like, they go and do things on their own. Like, you completed the, the job in the beginning ep- or beginning mission, and then it was, like, three days later, she'd already gone through the liberty of buying like a bunch of beer and shit and was like drinking at her house and stuff like she has money you know? and then she went to the club and all this shit so it's like you know and that's not stuff that you chose to do they just you, when you weren't playing they went and did that type of thing I don't know I don't know how Wait, it's so it tells you like what you did or what the no it's just the you're, you're, you're seeing you're it away. yeah it, it was like three days later and it, that's what she's in the middle of doing you know so it's just a like a cutscene. It could be, but I'm I'm saying like they were talking about how it could be where in your downtime, like when you're not playing, there's it's still going. There's shit just happening. I guess. Well, maybe. I, I don't maybe think I don't know. Do, I don't think it. I don't think they'd go that far. I think it just randomly generates what your person's doing when you start up the game again. Because it, it differs. Probably. It differs depending on how much you get paid. So it's just how like much money she's oh, got. like um. Your character's level five, so it's gonna put you just chilling in, in the a slums rest- yeah. or something. Yeah, or just chilling at a her apartment's badass. Her apartment's sick. She's got this whole armory room and I'm shit. I'm guessing where you, you can, can decorate your, your, your whole apartment. Yep, you can decorate your house. You can. Why is that? It's see, God, that's the shit that I'm talking about. That. Why am I playing like, I don't this game to play apartment decorator? Yeah, that's not it's 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 not that's not why it's there. It's there to make so that you can make it your own game. Yeah. You can make it your own customized experience to how you feel and how you want it to, to be. That's fine, but yeah, that's the only reason it's there. I still feel like it's gonna it's like force you, me to do stuff like no, that. No, you don't have to you don't you can leave it the same as it is. You can leave it stock if you fucking want. I mean, that's what they say, but you know, well, Fallout Four came out and they made me have to have a fucking community, didn't they? When I just could give two shits less about that shit. Where are you going to stay, then? The same thing I've where, done where, every where Fallout can... game, I fucking play it one setting and just <laughs> go in. 
Like, there's some things that just don't translate I think, to games. I think the whole, um, like, Outpost community thing in Fallout was kind of like a foreshadowing to what they're doing in this one. Yeah. With the online, where it's like you, you and your friends can make your own... See, that's incentive for me to do that. Yeah. If I'm playing with people, making a foundation and a place to chill mm-hmm. and do all that kind of stuff, that's like basics in Minecraft. You know, when you play Minecraft with somebody, you're going to build a place right. to stay safe from the monsters and yeah. stuff like that. They when I'm prob- playing a single-player game, if half the game is me sitting in an apartment and they're like, "Oh, you know, you can make this place look really cool, that's <laughs> not... A game to some, me. Some people just like that, man. Some, yeah, that's why. Yeah, like, it's just like I'm not saying I'm not, it's I wouldn't had s- to like it. I mean, it's it's cool and all, but like I don't think I'd spend the time doing that because like I'm just gonna be like, oh, hey man, look, check out my apartment on this video game. I'm just gonna be like, Pfft. that's it's not. What it's I'm not saying. unless it's online. It's not really for you to show up. It's for you personally. See, that's pretty lame. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's just self fulfillment, bro. Like it's just it's self fulfillment in the wrong way. I don't know. Like I like yes, in Skyrim you can build your own house. It's completely pointless. See, like they yeah. could just It's make just this a place game. that you can store all the shit you collect in the game. You, you get nothing from cooking. You know how many houses I've had in Skyrim? I've had like 4. None. I've had like 4. <laughs> because built when I play up. Skyrim I'm not like let's build a house in yield in time. But I did it I did it just for shits because it's like I don't know, you just Number one, it levels up your smithing, so that's cool. Yeah. But, you, you know, you can put whatever you want in it, and every time I do it, I make it different from the last, just to see what it's like, you know? I've, I've hated this concept since Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, where you could make clubhouses in the wall. You know what I'm talking about? I didn't you know s- you could do that. Well, you could you do that like, in Sapphire and Ruby, too. Like, you have the that's hideouts. What I said. He literally just says Sapphire. I thought you said Ruby. Omega Ruby and Alpha no, Sapphire. No, right. Since Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah. The originals, not Omega and Alpha. I've hated the concept because it's like, what, what is this doing to help me advance in the game? Right. And it's like, you if it's not, why, furniture. why am I doing it? But the, so yeah. my, here's a, another example. When I'm playing a regular RPG, mm. the only thing that I'm doing aside from advancing the story is I'm doing side quests, mm-hmm. which don't advance the story, but mm-hmm. they are mini but stories. They advance your character. Yes. Yeah. Or I'm grinding levels. Right. Nothing about building an apartment, even if it's giving me smithing, is beneficial to myself. Oh, wow, I put in a new couch. I'm now level 17 in interior decorating. Like, what the fuck, you know? Like, so I, under- I understand your frustration and disbelief in it, but it's just like, I can also, I can also see where people find it entertaining. Right. You know? I guess I can see so both sides. What I yeah. was, what I was thinking was, Same. what if they just took this game, uh, Cyberpunk 2099? 2077. 2077. 2077. Um, 2077. It's the year. Um, obviously. so I got it. Which isn't that far off. I feel like that's this is very so far fetched. They, they just they just take out. I mean, they can leave it pretty open world, but they take out all that stuff. They just make it so your character has enhancements that you can get. See, that's cool. Continuing like the part. game. It's an immersion And thing. it just has cutscenes between every level. So, like, it just has a story, and you're driven right. on that story instead of you just having to go find it. But that makes the player in less control of what's happening. The reason they even have it in first person and not the uh, option to do it in third is literally they said they want it to be as immersive as possible. And that's the only way you can get that is if you're POV in your character's uh, life. You know? I mean, I'm... I'm going to be completely honest with you. Pokemon had perfect immersion, and that's third not person. Like, and I've never I'm once seeing played, my character the whole I've never time. once played Pokemon and been like, I've never once played Pokemon and been like, damn, I feel like I'm fucking there. No, the whole time I'm playing Pokemon, I'm like, I'm playing a character. I feel you don't get into video games then. <laughs> okay. Because I've you're played talk, Pokemon. You're talking to the guy who literally like, only looks for that type of shit in video games. That's I, what I'm all about, is eye candy and immersion, have you tell? Are you telling me that you've never played Assassin's Creed and actually been like, man, I kind of feel like I'm a fucking assassin right now? Sometimes, yeah. You don't need first person to be No, you, I, No, I'm not saying you... I'm not saying that the only way you get immersion is in first person. I'm just telling you that that's why they chose first person, because they feel that's how you get the most immersion out of it, is yeah. if you feel like you are your character. So who's this and, being made by? 
Um, that's a good question, actually. I should look that up, actually. I don't know. Right. I don't it's know. It's just like, I, I, I kind of think that like just after all of Elder Scrolls and Fallout series just came out, just games are trying to replicate it, replicate it, and in a just very a poor different, way. Different I'm not saying way. that this game is going to be bad in any way. Am I going to enjoy it as much as Austin? Probably not. But that's also because Austin enjoys these games where I usually don't. So I like some. Ha, can you just take a wild guess as to who's making this? Rockstar. No. What? Yep. No. Of what? No. You act like that was an absurd. Rockstar. I don't think Rockstar would make a first-person RPG. Yeah, everybody's doing everything now, man. So I'm just saying, take a wild guess to who who's involved. Dice. In no. Mm. no. No. Not dice. Naughty Dog. No. You're on the right track, though. Sort of. What? Not really. CD Projekt Red. Who did, like, I think The Witcher and shit. Oh. You yeah. Know? They, oh, wow. Totally See, but that's that. third person? Yeah. All those. Yeah. It's made by a different branch, but yeah. I liked Witcher 3. Yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. The Wild Hunt was great. Never Except all it. the stupid stuff where you're like, you know, I gotta save the world and stuff, but I'm gonna play hide and seek with these kids. <laughs> It's a side quest. I'm, what's his name? Geralt. I'm Geralt. Yeah. Geralt. Or Geralt. It's either Geralt, Geralt or Geralt. Geralt. I could never, I could never figure it out. But um, but I mean, the Witcher, the Witcher Three Wild Hunt was a completely different game. Though I mean, it's, it wasn't trying, trying to go for what they are. I mean, aesthetically, it's different. I think Mason different. was saying it's third person, and your reference to Rockstar wouldn't make the game when I had said Rockstar, because you were like, "No, they make third person games." Well, so did the company that made The Witcher Three. Right, but they all, but they, Cyberpunk is completely different from Witcher Three. I know, but I'm saying CD Projekt Red has also made a lot of first person games. Yeah, too. So. But Rockstar could could go that way. Um, not gonna lie, that is definitely that wouldn't even be in my top ten. I mean, of, like, yeah, like this game's gonna come out, but then you know. But this is just going to come out with their space RPG type game. Are they? It's just, yeah, they have a space RPG. Yeah, it's just going to beat everything out of the water. I can't remember. What it's <laughs> Maybe called. I don't know, dude. Is it? It's not called Horizon. Yeah, because it's going to come out. It's the one that later had the, in this game. <laughs> the logo is like a planet. I can't remember what it's, it's called, called. Star something. Star something. That's right. Are you talking about No Man's Sky? No. no. Bethesda. Oh, okay. I didn't hear has a sorry. space Starcraft. Thing. I didn't know. I <laughs> no. didn't know it did. No. Is it called? No, it's like, is it StarCraft? Um, I know what StarCraft is. Yeah. I was just thinking, did Never they... played... Oh, okay. Well, I played it once. I played I, StarCraft. I didn't really like it. I mean, it's okay. It's fun. I can see why people would like I'm it. I'm a filthy Protoss main. Oh, you sick son of a bitch. <laughs> you don't even know what that means. <laughs> nope. There's three... But I, uh, I'm guessing it's awful. There's three races. You can only play as three races in StarCraft. Uh, so it's like, I don't know if it's goes like classic rock paper scissors i don't think one necessarily beats the other they're all strong and they're all strong in their own ways though for sure um i'm gonna retract my statement before i get called out on it yeah um cd project red has only made witcher games (laughs) 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 yeah so So, rockstar that's kind of what i thought i was because i read a thing about witcher Except they yeah, have saying like whatever there nope, was. That's the Witcher thing. Tales. Never mind. So to go on to your point, Austin, uh, what I was going to say before is that company, CD Projekt Red or whatever, mm-hmm. wouldn't have even been in my top ten after you were like, name. Guess who's designing it? I don't know. That would I have fi- never I just came for some to reason mind. Thought that was a well known. It is well known. Uh, Rockstar created any first person games? Yeah, well, they did just like that. completely like a year a year or two ago completely redo. Grand Theft Auto Five and first person. Yeah, but no one cares about that. Did Rockstar help in Bioshock? I don't think so. Actually, now that so. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. But uh, back to what I was saying to I you. What's up? Protoss, Zergs, Terrans. Terrans. That's, that is the uh, three races of StarCraft Two, and all are good. And I'm a Protoss main, which means I play for games to last at least 25 minutes. Two K games. Two K. Yeah. Whereas Zerg, they're like, I want this game to be over in seven minutes. And Terran's like, I don't really give a fuck when this game's over. I just want to win. Yeah. That's. Have you ever gotten that card in Cards Against Humanity that says you must construct additional pylons? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is, is a reference to the Protoss yep. from StarCraft Two because a pylon is like their 
It's also a lyric. resource generator. Yeah, it's a lyric resource in generator. that. Um, remember that song I showed you by uh, that like weird Jared Alonge fucking band Rectangles that had um, the guy that was like a Mike Velociraptor, Sinusky. huh? The Velociraptor keyboard player dude. No, no, oh, no, okay. no. I know who you're talking about. That's not it. <laughs> yeah, okay. but no, no, no. <laughs> the Rectangles is the one that had Mike Sameski as the as the singer in it for a minute, and it was for Jared Alonge's like um, album. But one of the lyrics in it is construct additional pylons or whatever. That's so. fucking sick. Yeah. That's a reference to StarCraft 2. Yeah. But uh, the whole song is about space and shit. So. It's dope. Yeah. It's dope. Good song. Good show. I think it's called. I don't even remember what it's called. I know, it's called... I know the band's called Rectangles, though. What a fucking genius name. All right. It's genius because they're making fun of, like, structures and, yeah. you know other shit yeah. like it's not yeah. genius because oh, yeah. no. rectangles oh god that hits me right in yeah, the soul the, the, whole point of the, the whole point of it was to be a joke yeah and that's why it's genius the lyrics are just redonkulous in that song man it's ridiculous yeah um who says redonkulous anymore I just did I I get that but so who that, where did you I, get that from myself yeah, yeah Justin you saying redonkulous is pretty redonkulous <laughs> yeah. I came out the pussy okay. saying it I what, is it, it. what is with, with you using that phrase? What? Came out the put the earlier. I've used it twice today. <laughs> yes. That's the first time I've used That's, it in like years. I think exactly. you used it the other day too. No, you you just Who you're the just, fuck is saying you're that? You're splitting hairs now. Splitting hairs. Mason came out the pussy splitting hairs. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a really weird thing to just like say though like Sorry. i was just making fun of your cody or not making fun of your it's cody, a vulgar saying, way of saying i wasn't born doing i that. know what thank you god i'm glad you know i didn't know that actually thank you for putting that together i'm glad you know that's what i'm here for but it's just exactly I'm here to educate it's just a, a way to be vulgar for no reason sorry i'm tired well, you were pretty wrong about uh just drop my cigarettes the creators of witcher so. I just thought they did other shit. I don't. I think they're. I think they're like a. They're a branch that is, or they're a gaming developer that has been formed from other ones. I think that's why I thought that that they did other ones because I think when they came together to form CD Projekt Red, mm-hmm. the, the group, the people in, at play were for, in other ones too, like in other. Oh, okay. Developing I think companies. they could have chosen a better name. I yeah. I don't know why they. Not that I. And their symbol makes no sense either. It's like a it's like a red CD. So no, so. it's a red. Uh, <laughs> it's like a red. I want to say it's a phoenix, but I could be wrong. It's either a phoenix or like a rooster or some. It's a bird. It's a, a, bird a yeah. So you're telling me all these all these people got together, made CD CD Project Red, and made uh, Witcher games, right? Is that what you're saying? I'm not saying all of them from those separate companies did that, but a few members but, of those separate companies. But came CD out. Project. Red. So there's probably like guys in those one other companies that were just sitting there like, man. I've always wanted to make a fucking third-person fantasy RPG game. And then they, like, knew some people who worked at another company, and they're like, dude, do you want to just, like, c- come together and do this? We got the funding for it. So we they got made the average. talent for it. Yeah, so they all so they just made, together a game. made a pretty average game. You Good were just hyping yeah, it you up. Were you were just, just like, I love Witcher, the, Witcher 3. The, the, wild, the Wild Hunt's pretty cool, but, I mean, it's it's... Not really the best series. If anybody here is going to shit on The Witcher 3, it's me. <laughs> and I actually can't because I've never played it. So, Siri is a fucking badass, dude. Her teleportation abilities are dope. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I can agree. She's like Nightcrawler if you gave Nightcrawler I like, uh, the, tits and a sword. I like the enemies. Like, or not like the, the, the big bads. See, that's the only part of The Witcher 3. Well, that and just the obnoxious fucking perversion. But the... the the lack of just I think monster diversity. Cool. Yeah, I mean they're all just upgraded versions yeah, of the monster. It's, they have the but that's almost every game. Right. Yeah. It's just like well, I like that about my if games. you face the blue version of yeah, this old guy, games, he's the weak right. one. But if you face the green version of this guy, that's the stronger one. See, Watch Mason, out for that one. what you just said right there. In old games, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> when did we get to the point where it stopped being all fucking right? Because they make shitty games. Okay. When I'm playing Paper Mario, very first enemies you fight in Paper Mario, yeah, Goombas and Goombas. Koopas. Goombas and Koopas. Then you then you get to Chapter Three, yeah, and suddenly all the Goombas are green, and the Koopas have like purple shells, and yeah, and you're just like, sometimes they got. Well, spikes. all these guys are is 
different upgraded versions from the first guys. No, you're just like, fucking stay away from me, you green colored skin bitch. I don't like this. It makes it more Why terrifying. is that not the case now? <clears throat> Nothing against green skinned people. I love you all. I, I was just saying that's the way it is in Witcher. Witcher. Yeah. Dude, Why is that a problem? Thing. It's the I, same because thing. It's in, literally uh, the same character model. Yeah. Sort of, but mm-hmm. they just changed the color and it, to let you know it's stronger. Yeah. I don't they like it. It has different moves? Yes. Mm, yeah, they do. Did they? Yeah, because el- like. Elemental changes. Why is that a problem, though? I just would prefer to have seen a, a whole different creature. I mean, I know. I okay, guess. I know they have to go through the fucking character design to do that. I know they have to go through the animation. I know they have to do type. You know, I know they have to code it in. Whatever. I know it's a pain in the ass, but it's like when shit like that happens to me. At least it's just like the laziness comes through. Like you can see it. You know. I I don't think that's necessarily lazy. I actually think it it shows you perfectly exactly what it needs to. One, this is the same type of enemy that you fought before. But it is stronger, as evidenced by the different Star colors. Does the same thing. Because of that different color, though, that color now represents that this creature could know different abilities or is a different elemental type, meaning you have to adapt to that. Mm. Yeah. So in Paper Mario, when you fight the green Goombas, the only thing that's different about them is they do the head jump things and still jump on you. But the green Goombas can now charge themselves and make it so they do like nine damage instead of six, which yeah, is pretty terrible. Huge. Yeah. So it's like that's how the game represents that. But that's not a turn based RPG where it matters. That matters there. I mean, then. it's the same concept. It's an open world third person RPG is just kind of like all they're doing is different damage output. The, the you being able to dodge their attacks and stop them doesn't really change. All right, let's go to Halo. Okay. In Halo, mm-hmm. when you're first fighting the Covenant, mm-hmm. um, what are the you elites? Face, the first the elites one have faces, different it, colors. Yeah, he's a it's a blue armored one. But but with elites, I mean, this is only lore and not actual um, stat change. Yeah. The lore is the different colors is different ranks. Yeah, but which makes them stronger. Different but, colors have different weapons. So you will fight against like a silver elite who is harder to kill and almost always has an energy sword on them. Yeah, yeah or it's like true. a plasma and cannon. When you're going yeah. through the game, if you look down and you're like, oh shit, there's a silver elite up there, that means he has these things. That's an indicator. Yeah. And it was okay back then, but when did we hit that wall where it's suddenly not okay I to do I just think that? It, I think that's something that works for certain things and doesn't for others. I guess. Maybe that's what it so is. So like I don't know uh, if it's a wall. another I it's instance a... uh I know Colin hasn't played it. He doesn't want to see anything of it, but Breath of the Wild it kind of has the same aspect. It's just same enemies. Uh they just get a little bit stronger they get yeah. a little bit bigger they uh, they change weapons. color they uh they get el- different elementals there's different bats in different areas but they're all the same bats but they all there's electric bat and there's a fire bat zelda's kind of done that for a while yeah they they have but like um it it, it does feel I, I agree with austin when it when it gets to an open world and it just ruins that That's for everything. The problem. It ruins that for everything. And I feel like that when a- we do play Cyberpunk, it's just going to be the same type of people, but, oh, this one's stronger because now you're level 10. It gets I'm to- saying, But I'm saying with Cyberpunk, within that 50 minutes of gameplay, she went a, a, a lot of places in the city, and I didn't see one person that was the same as the other. It gets to the open world aspect, though, and that's when suddenly you can't do that. You can do it when it's okay in a linear sense, though, where it's like, I'm going to this level. Maybe that's why Paper Mario's does work, because level one is these guys, and then you get to chapter three, and it's those guys. Same characters, different strengths, though. But when you get to that open world thing, it's like, that's when it's suddenly a problem that you're fighting these same creatures that are just the different colors that are a bit stronger. The one thing about Witcher I liked that they did with that, though, was um, they did divide up like they did give certain creatures territories so like you wouldn't find a fucking griffin over, over by the shores or anything yeah you know what i mean you know what you find over by the shores crap in that game sirens oh man they fuck you sirens are crazy too. i've like, never played witcher so they'll fly up you have and to, do from, torpedoes when you go from you? island to island you mm-hmm. have to take a boat oh because of what the time period is i yeah. mean you and can... the boat only goes so fast yeah you know? yeah so you're sitting there rowing, going over, you know, as much as you can, as fast as you can, 
and fucking uh, the sirens do change, but they're like following you the whole fucking time. And yeah. They jump out and attack your shit, and you, your your boat has a health bar, so it's like you ha- kind of have to dodge, um, like clusters of sirens and stuff. It's Here's pretty... a question for you though. So, let's say that Goomba that I was fighting, okay. that regular Goomba, what if it's no longer a Goomba in Chapter Three, but does the same things? It's just different, like it's different, a completely different character, completely model, but different attacks. enemy, but does have the same like it attacks. Jumps on you. Yep. And... Just adds that charge factor that the regular Green Goomba would have done. Is that okay? It, because it's essentially the same enemy. With one new addition, and it looks completely different. Because that's what, like, Dark Souls does. I mean, every Dark... Yeah. Like, there are a lot of different monsters in Dark Souls, yeah. don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, you break it down to the purest form. Yeah. You've got the creatures that can two-hit you and the creatures that can one-hit you, and they just look aesthetically different. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. I, I, again, it's, it, I think it's situational. It it works for some games and it doesn't but for which others. Which one would you prefer? Just out of curiosity? it just depends on what the game is. Like for Mario, I yeah. would prefer it didn't do that. You'd prefer it stayed. I'd prefer it stayed Goombas and because stuff. you're like now I know the Goombas know, gonna yeah, jump exactly. But for you know for Bloodborne or for mm-hmm. Dark Souls, I don't think it's that because you know like um, in Bloodborne in the beginning, I mean mm-hmm. a lot of those you know quote unquote humans that you face, yeah, they're they're all pretty much essentially the same. It's just their attack animations change depending on what weapon they're holding. Yeah, and they're their health the and their health kind of varies depending on what. The, so like, there's only like five different humans in that. First exactly, game. exactly. You got the pitchforks guys, you got the saber guys, you got the axe guys, and you got the like the shield guys with the torches. Yeah, and then you got the guy and with then the, the guns rifle. and yeah. the guns. Yeah, exactly. So it's like they're all essentially the same, and they mm-hmm. all essentially have the same health bar. Mm-hmm. Like it's, they all pretty much take the same damage, but. I don't know. I don't know. I think it works for that, but it doesn't. It wouldn't for others. But what leads to the next question is, in Cyberpunk, Mm. what makes you think that that's going to be any different? Even though you saw 50 minutes worth of gameplay, there's nothing saying that after the first 50 minutes or after that, they didn't run into the same type of enemies. Just that guy has the same shooting pattern as the guys I was just fighting, but this guy's in a mech suit, so it's going to take a little bit longer for me to fight him. Or like... uh, Well, with the mech, because you do face the... I don't doubt it. You face the the gang leader in a mech suit. Yeah. He steals one. And the the way you have to fight him is he gets a shield. First of all, he has this gun that just shoots these weird-ass laser beam things. But your character can take. I'm afraid to say this because you're gonna like just shit on I'm it. I'm gonna drill into it. You're gonna it. drill into okay. it. Okay. Because of because of the time period it takes place in, everyone is addicted to like certain drugs, and certain drugs have different effects on your character. Oh yeah. She can take this inhalant that mm-hmm. allows her to more quickly perceive and 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 react to things, which t- to your point of view makes it look like time slows down. And so she can mm. like dodge, mm-hmm. uh, certain you know certain okay. attacks yeah. and stuff. Guess so you when, have a bar for this. I don't know. I think it just has a time limit. Okay. But you do have a health bar though. Okay. Yeah. But anyways, this guy he's shooting a beam at you, right? You can take the shit right before he shoots, and then as the beam's coming towards you, you can like dodge underneath it, like sli- like you know do a power slide underneath it, and then allows you to get to the side of him, which leaves him completely open. You know, and so to de- defeat him in the mech suit, you have to number one, destroy this thing on his back that makes it to where his shield doesn't work anymore, and then he's completely left open to where you can attack him personally in the mech suit mm-hmm. because he's got the shield thing over him the whole time. I'm not gonna shit on that, but but know that I would have. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it just sounds like the same kind of bosses, you know. It's just but now, now Austin, we'll see. Tell me, tell me the likeliness, just out of pure curiosity. You get further down the story in in cyber punk and this is one of the first bosses you fight is that guy in that mech suit and all that kind of stuff assuming that what we saw was in the beginning yeah yeah assuming what is the likelihood that later down the line a boss fight quote-unquote is going to be you fighting a mech guy with the shield no no two of those guys oh <laughs> two of them. Or, or wait or wait it's just one of those guys but 
Oh, he's a little bigger. Yeah. Oh, he's oh he's got some no, red stripes. No, no. I like that. Oh, gonna, and missiles yeah. on his back. You're gonna fight two of the first ones you fought, and they're gonna be like the default tan color, like a mech suit. And then there's gonna be a bigger one that's red. And you're gonna be like, oh shit, that uh, guy's uh, a lot more of a problem than these two. Little I guys. hope it's not like that. I'm hoping that like eventually you face <laughs> certain bosses that are like, because you know with the with the diversity of body and modifications that are in this, like military grade modifications and shit. I'm assuming that there's going to be bosses that are, like, super agile. Yeah. You know, like, what if you face a, a boss later on that has... That's you know, in a purple mech suit. No, no, no. Not, no, no, no. Take, take the mech suit out of the equation. Like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> picture the person, I don't know, has, like, mantis blades or something, too. But they're, like, super stealthy. And so they, they like, fade back into the shadows and then sneak up behind you and get you with the blades or something. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, I'm hoping they keep it diverse with... They I'm hoping it's not will. like those terrible guys. I'm hoping in it's the not going to be a rinse and repeat type situation. That's what a lot of open I know. World games I know become. everybody's yeah. fucking guilty of it. I'm just I'm trying to keep up hope that they're not going to try that. And I, I mean, it's making it sound like I hate that type of gameplay, but no, you're just skeptical. To be fair, well, I'm just saying Final Fantasy for the game that I've been playing the most. Mm. It's so guilty of that, yeah. where it's like you know. Oh, I'm fighting this enemy that I fought back then, and he's purple, and purple means he can cast death on me, and death is I'll die in 30 turns or 30 seconds or something. It's like, I actually like that trope because it, like I said, it it shows you very clearly progression. So it's like different colors means different things and different moves, different elements and stuff like that. I like that in video games. What I don't like is when people think that having this open world suddenly makes it so the game has to change that way so because it's open world are you going to have a problem with one guy's in a mech suit and then the next time you fight a mech suit you're fighting two of them in a big red one i I probably would because it would make it seem less intimidating exactly like if i know that i'm like oh shit this is the mission where you have to face the mech guy you know and it's like you know he may or may not whoop your ass and it's just like if you because it gets rid of that, it gets rid of that accomplishment factor. You know, that's why I love Mega Man because all the bosses are different. They're different, but all the minor enemies in every level are pretty much the same, yeah. just different aesthetically. Which is again goes alongside that: is it okay to be the same enemy <sighs> if you're? I, don't know. I feel like as gamers, man, we've been around long enough, and I feel like we've been let down so many times that we just like to put up these walls, yeah, so that we don't get hurt again, <laughs> type thing. You know? Give me like a wreck. Yeah, it, just... I want Garrett, if you're listening. I want you to have the picture for this podcast be Miley Cyrus swinging in on the wrecking ball from the music video, but her face is just the cover of Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> That's I want it so it could maybe break down Austin's wall that he has put up in defense to all these shitty games breaking I, his I'm, heart. I'm wanting to be hopeful. Wow. I want to give it, I want to give it a chance. <laughs> I, it, I'm... I'm hoping for the guy. I want Austin to yeah, like Cyberpunk. I want because I mean because Lord knows I won't. You know what if, it, what if dude what, what if, if I dude, love it? Yeah, what if it becomes like one of your favorite games? <laughs> exactly. You're just like this is badass. Like, I mean, there's a very slim chance of that because right. I've always been that yeah. guy that doesn't like. So I I like Oblivion more than Skyrim. Why do I like Oblivion more than Skyrim? Because Oblivion had better gameplay. Skyrim's only big thing is snow is everywhere. <laughs> Like I, I can like, <laughs> shoot two lightning bolts. Yeah, yeah. I like Fallout hey, Three. Oblivion's badass though because you can hold a sword and cast a spell in the same hand. That isn't that cool. That's insane. Like that's meta as fuck. And they should have they should have put that in Skyrim. That's cool. Yeah. So you can have a shield, a sword, and go. And, yeah, and shoot a fireball at the same. Time. I'm like, why yeah. can't you do that in Skyrim? And you have like stats for agility and oh yeah, the, all the that. stat classes are so much better. I'm just. Through, you know, history, yeah, I have not liked the advancements into the open world, and that's why I'm really, really skeptical about, like, Breath of the Wild, which a lot of people have said. Because first month Breath of the Wild is out, I can't tell you how many people are like, it's the best fucking Zelda game I've ever seen. Which, to be honest, Zelda players don't understand what the best fucking Zelda game is, because we've always been like that. We're like... I hate Majora's Mask because it's not Ocarina of Time. And then Wind Waker comes out and somebody's like, this isn't fucking Majora's Mask. What the hell's up with this? And then Twilight Princess comes out and they're like, where's my water from Wind Waker? I fucking hate this. So we've always hated the next game in the series. But the first month, everybody was like, Breath of the Wild, greatest Zelda game of all fucking time. And then a few months later, somebody was like, you know, the open world aesthetic 
really only goes so far before I realize I'm just doing the same shit in a different area. I and think, I think like talking yeah. about it right now has kind of made me realize that like I understand why you shit on yes. world games and yes. rightfully so. They have their issues. They do, you know, because like the games I like have their issues too. I right. can't say they're perfect. But I think with open world games, the reason why I can't sit here, like I kind of sit there and agree with you that once you kind of just keep opening it up and opening it up and opening it up, you're going to run into, like, that just increases the amount of problems it's going to have. Yep. Or the potential to have problems. But it's at the same time, it's like bigger world means bigger possibilities. And bigger possibilities means, I don't know. I, I just, I, I want to I wanna believe. You want to believe, dude. I want to believe. You got that fucking UFO poster yep. up in your room, but instead of but the it's just Cyberpunk world, 2077. World yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to believe. Yeah. Yeah, that's that should be the fucking picture for the cast. I no, it's just, I, I it's just the cyber ball. cyberpunk going over a you know like a skyline of trees, and then it just says Miley Cyrus wrecking ball cyberpunk twenty seven seven. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. I'm staying hopeful. I'm probably gonna get let down, but I'm staying hopeful. No, stay hopeful. Even though I'm shitting on it, that's the point. We're on a podcast. I just hope that like everything that we just said doesn't happen when you buy the game, and you're just like. <laughs> There's two mech suit guys. <laughs> and and there's a like, oh my one. god, they were right. <laughs> the purple one does have better agility. God damn. <laughs> Where did he get those laser blades from? I don't know. I'm just, I'm hoping it's going to be one of those things where it's like, I'm not even saying like I got to beat the game. It's just like, I'll be like, oh man, I, you know, this character is really cool, but I really want to know what happens if I play this whole situation differently yep. type of thing. And I can just make another profile and the end i'm gonna say is to to each their own yeah i hope you enjoy it i hope i can sit there and watch it which i will be able to do because it's going to be aesthetically pleasing dude when it comes out let's do a playthrough of it man you and me yeah why not i don't know (laughs) if i want to commit to that but me and mason are gonna do spoiler alert me and mason are gonna do i'm gonna watch him do um inside Mm -hmm. and then he's gonna watch me do limbo because i haven't played limbo limbo's hard yeah huh so I, it was inside, sort of. I mean, it's kind of hard. I mean, inside, hey Mason. I heard it's just kind of straightforward. What's up? Why don't you uh, play Final Fantasy VII? <laughs> you know, I I would, but I've been playing Axiom Verge yep. and mm-hmm. Fighters. Yeah. A lot. I, how yep. how much farther are you in that? In Axiom Verge? I got to the next area, but um, I still have to go back to the first area. with. Is anything making what, what any more sense? What podcast is this? No. What podcast is this? What do you mean? Well, just what number? 14. 14. I, right, faced, so I faced the third boss. Mental note on podcast 14. I asked Mason, when is he going to be Final Fantasy 7? Let us find out how many podcasts it is down the line. For first milestone is Mason plays Final Fantasy 7 again. <laughs> that will be, second, won't be until like 18 or <laughs> yeah. something like that. The next milestone is when he gets to disc two because he's still on disc one. He's okay. not even on. There's three discs. Oh, sick. Way. No, I'm like, in the, I'm literally at the beginning and I then just we'll find out the world map and like started yep. doing some shit Fun. and we'll uh then the last milestone will beat the game and i will see you guys on podcast 50 at least when i am f- almost 30 old years and old. decrepit <laughs> <laughs> wow uh, so. I'm, I'm good at fighters now though yeah like i said yeah because you haven't been playing Final you Fantasy put a VII. chimpanzee in a room with a typewriter he'll eventually write shakespeare yeah damn straight I love you, man. Um, You're a good chimpanzee. What are there? <laughs> Champ. Uh, You're a chimpanzee. <laughs> Fuck that. Let's see, what other what other video games are coming out? Um, uh, I don't know if we have any other time to talk. We're almost hitting the hour. It'd be hour twenty, mm-hmm. and it's ten o'clock. Oh, we can just go over quick. I guess. What time is it? Oh my god, it's ten fucking o'clock. God yeah, damn. dude. You. Mr. School Man, you got to uh, pay attention. You got shit that, to do. What's, what's that thing that um, we're doing for that other podcast that Garrett was talking about? Oh yeah, we we technically don't have to mention it as much, but like I don't know the name of the guy either, so I uh, can't yeah. really. But he's gonna be doing all the shout outs and stuff. So yeah, he's, okay. the, he, I guess the guy told Garrett we don't even have to like introduce ourselves because he's going to before he plays our. But clip. yeah, we do need to do that. Clip. Right on. Yeah. So, right on, right on. We might right on. just call it here. And then, damn, so this was just a 
Cyberpunk fucking cop. Or well, I mean, we talked podcast. about food. And yeah, yeah, we did. Wet yeah. cheese and you know, a lot fried, of things. Deep fried cyberpunk, man. So, I guess mm. yeah, we will just end it right here. So, if you're uh, playing cyberpunk and you like jump in the water, are oh you, my god, are you wet? I don't even know if you can get. I don't even know if there is water. I didn't see any bodies of water. Huh? But you said there was like a dam. But it's like the California dam where there's like no water in it hardly. Like there's just, just a pip, kind of. Just poop. It's just kind of damp. So it's just it's just concrete that's damp. Is damp what? Yep. Or find out damp? next time. <laughs> find out next time. On Bootleg Shanty Z. <laughs> but we're out of here. Adios, everybody. It's been fun talking to you guys. Yep. Love you guys. See you next week. Uh, goodbye. Do barrel roll.